Great grind day, great grind day. This is your daily grind. Up early, just finished working out. Um, but look, real quick, I want to finish up a conversation that uh, I had with my community yesterday. And it was about a conversation that a young man had with God before he was born. And God asked him the question. He said, uh, look, what do you want to do with your life, with the time that you have on earth? I'm going to say it again. God asked him the question, what do you want to do with your time on earth? Why you there? And the young man thought about it and he thought about it and he thought about it. And he said, you know what? I want to be the number one coach, the number one teacher on self-reliance. And God looked at him. He said, you sure? He said, yeah, I want to be the number one coach, the number one teacher on self-reliance. So God said, I right, bet you got that. Right. So then God said to him, look, this is what I'm going to do for you. Right. I'm going to bless you. He said, I'm going to give you a father who's going to be an alcoholic and he will not be present in your life. He's going to disown you. He will not be in your life at all. Then God said, look, I'm going to go ahead and give you a mother who's not going to be capable of taking care of you and your brothers and your sisters. And you're going to have to go to a foster care home and be used, abused, emotionally abused, all that. He said, that's what I'm going to do for you. And he looked at God and he was like, what you what you talking about? And God said, boom, there it is. So as the young man was going through life, he, everything that God said he was going to give him, he gave him. And the, and the young man started questioning. He said, God, you told me that you were going to make me the number one teacher, the number one coach on self-reliance. And he just cried out to the God. He just cried out to the God. And one day the God answered him and said, OK, you ready? Go do it. And he was like, what do you mean you ready? And then God told him, he said, I've been preparing you from birth. He said, I've, I've had you go through life's tragedies, life's storms, life obstacles, life challenges to prepare you to be self-reliant. And now you're qualified to go out and teach and be the number one coach, the number one teacher on self-reliance based on what you have had to rely on yourself for. Right. And so here's the lesson in this. Most of us want these things. We want to be a coach. We want to be a speaker. We want to be an entrepreneur. We want life to give us these great things. But we're not really ready to go through the preparation part in order to be the best at it, to be successful, because we're only looking for money and money comes as a result of you being great. That young man went on his course and he became the number one teacher and coach on self-reliant on self-reliance based on the preparation that God put him through. So I'm telling you, God is preparing you for something. He prepared you for something. My question to you is, will you fall under the pressure or will you stand tall and not say, oh, my God, look what you're doing to me. But you're going to say, look what you're doing for me. Y'all have a great grind day. We'll talk soon.